With a virtualized RAN, Samsung is now creating a software-centric network that can adopt automated, software-driven operation and management. This starts from deployment. Billy, can you talk a bit about what is involved in deploying vRAN versus a hardware-centric RAN? Absolutely, Kaylee. With a hardware-based RAN, operators receive the baseband with everything pre-installed from a single vendor. But with vRAN, this becomes more complicated and multiple companies providing each part of the RAN, which is why Samsung is developing vRAN automation. To address the various components involved in a vRAN deployment, we're preparing a zero-touch automation solution. After the vRAN hardware is installed on site, the entire process of deployment and operation is managed with a single click of a button through software. The infrastructure, namely firmware and OS and CAS, are installed automatically and virtualized network functions and network element configurations are also completed at once. This dramatically reduces the workload for deployment for our customers. With this solution, it seems like vRAN deployment will become much easier. Now, how about on the network operations side? Does the automation solution address this too? Yes, Kelly. Our automation solution takes care of not only installation and deployment, but also operation. The solution manages the various network elements and functions, monitoring and analyzing diverse data collected from the branding core, and takes care of scaling, upgrades, and healing. We also have AI-based analytics tools that are dedicated to specific functions, such as a network, service, connection quality, and energy safety. These tools can not only detect, predict network faults with AI, but also give recommendations for better performance. So in short, Samsung is automating the entire lifecycle management process, from deployment, operation, to optimization. How about the core network? While well, Samsung is continuously expanding its core network, our core is cloud-native and utilizes microservices, supports 4G and 5G, as well as SA and NSA. And we've upgraded performance, including our UPF, to provide faster and better connections for users. Samsung is diversifying our core portfolio to include a compact core and public core for private networks. 5G is bringing so many new technologies and services to the network. It really is incredible. Thank you both for sharing your insights. With these new automation solutions and diverse tools, network operations should become much easier for operators.